Alright guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Final Fantasy IV. So, just before we get back into this, I just... To open up this... I was like literally five seconds ago getting back up to this point. I just pressed X here and this opened. So I guess there's a switch underneath those swords. Which is kind of neat. We got Eagle Eye. I don't know if I opened this last time. We got tents. And we got eye drops. So, uh, before we get too far into this, I'll kind of explain while we fight. Yang! It's me, Cecil. Cecil, Baron's turn knights and... Well, something traitors. Seize him. Yes, sir. We already read that last time, so... Uh, as you can see, I leveled the shit out of every character except for Tella, because I didn't really feel like it. But... Uh, last time, when we recorded this, apparently the Dazzle has some kind of, like, audio-video lag, so... That was really cool to find out. I, I wasn't super... Super happy about that, because it totally screwed me over, and I had to, uh, doctor every single episode. Alright, I'll actually, let's read this part. Yang, what's wrong? You insolent wrench. I'll explain it better when we're just traveling around and stuff. Yang's getting messed. Let's, let's use Twin. Why the fuck not? He's probably pretty dead, though. I mean... Yeah. Die! Oh, ow. Okay. I don't know how much HP he has, or if you're supposed to kill him, or what the deal is, but... I don't think we're gonna have an issue. Can I run from this? No escape. Alright. Damn, we just did like 5,000 damage to this guy. How much HP does he have? Oh, there it is. Uh. Ugh. I think that was just like a you have to survive so many turns kind of thing. But I'm not sure. That might have actually been how much damage you had to deal to him. Cecil, what just happened? After Leviathan attacked us, I cannot remember a thing. Obviously you suffered a slight uh, case of amnesia. And we're being used by Baron. That explains everything. Alright. Do you know what happened to Rydia and Edward? Rydia was swallowed up by Le Wow, swallowed up by Leviathan. Uh, I don't know what happened to Edward. I see. Where are we? Baron, let's get a room to discuss everything. Hi, Monk Yang, join the party! Nice to have Yang back, I guess. He's probably gonna be a super low level. But yeah, I'll kind of... Okay. Thanks for taking care of those soldiers. Uh, you're more than welcome to spend the night here. But yeah, I'll explain... What I was talking about earlier... In more depth when we have time to. Because apparently there's a lot of dialogue at this part, so... Yang, this is Tella. His daughter and Edward... My daughter loved him... My daughter loved him enough to... Sacrifice her life for him. I am sorry for your loss. I am Yang, a Fabul. Uh huh. I am Palum, of Mycedia, hee hee. Pretty good impression, huh? Please don't mind him, I miss... I'm his twin sister, Porum. Hey, that kick really hurt. How could you let them... Uh, play you like that? Uh, Plume, apologize. No, he's right. Forgive my actions. Well, first things first, we have to find Sid. Sneaking into the castle won't be easy. Hmm, what is this? This is the key... Wow, this is the Baron Key, of course. How the fuck did he get a Baron Key? Come on, now. Uh, they must have given it to you when they gave you command of... 
those guards. With this key, I believe we'll be able to find Sid. We received the Baron key! I don't know why they would just give somebody the key to their castle, but... I guess whatever. All set! I'm just gonna wait to see if there's more dialogue and stuff before I get into any stories and such forth. Leave it once! Awesome, okay. Let's see what level Yang is. Yang is a level 60. Holy fuck! Why is Lang. Why, why would they give you Yang at a level 62? My mind is blowing right now. I guess, depending on what level you are when you get to that part of the game, they, like, compensate for that by giving him back at a different level? Okay. Because last time we got there, we were, like, a level 10 or some shit. So, that was fun. That was good. I guess this is probably where we have to go, right? Yeah. Hold on, before we do that, can we open up the, uh, the weapon shop? Yes, we can! Alright, where's my key? There it is. So I have a lot of money. I don't know if you can hear that, but the phone downstairs is ringing, if you did hear that. Um... I think we're fine. I don't think we really need to buy anything, to be honest. We could probably just leave that and go ahead in the game. But yeah, back to my story. So, apparently the Dazzle has audio video lag, and if you don't know what audio video lag is, it's pretty much the audio from the game and the video from the game separate themselves to a point where the audio from the game is like a couple seconds sooner or later than the actual video on the screen. So, say I attack an enemy, or we get into a fight and the music changes, but before the music changes, the fight's over, and then it starts playing the battle music. That's, that's what I'm talking about, and it's pretty bad. Like, I had to sit down and try and fix that for, I think, like, ten to eight episodes, like, eight or ten episodes in total, and it was pretty terrible. Like, it took a long time. It wasn't... The thing is, in Vegas, it was okay. It looked totally fine, everything was synced normally, and there was no issues with it. It was only after it was rendered that there was a problem. So I had to render it out in a lower quality, which still took like a half hour each time. And... Kind of like, play around with where I had to put the audio and stuff. So... In total, per episode, it probably took like... I want to say on average... Two hours per episode or something stupid and it was pretty terrible so hopefully this time um, it's not like that I played around with the settings and I did a couple of tests to kind of see and it seemed okay like I played the game for an hour and recorded it and then made sure everything was okay and in in like another awesome related thing I bought a new microphone and I'm not using that microphone right now, because it's being stupid, and I have to play around with settings on that now, too. Uh, but I bought a Blue Yeti, because it's supposed to be better than the Blue Snowball, and it was, like, half price at Future Shop. So I was like, fuck yeah, I'll buy the Blue Yeti, like, why not? It was Christmas, Boxing Day sale, all this crazy stuff, and we pretty much just went to the store and bought it. And it was pretty awesome. I was just like, okay. So I plugged it in. And for about, like, two hours, I just sat down and tried to figure out what the fuck was wrong. And then I found out that the driver wasn't working properly. Like, I did a whole bunch of stuff online looking for solutions and fixes and stuff. And apparently, it was missing, like, code 10 or some shit. So you have to download uh, the drivers for it. And then install the drivers and, of course, reset your computer and make sure everything's working. And I tested it, and the volume was super low, so I had to play with the volume, which really wasn't that bad. You just play with the little dial on the back of it until it sounds normal. Uh, but after that, um, I tried to fucking record with it, 
as, like, test runs and stuff, and my computer thought that it was a speaker. And I didn't know that for, like, a good two hours. I was just sitting there looking at the screen, and I was like, why the fuck is my microphone not working? And then I found out that it was trying to be a speaker and not a microphone, because it does have a headphone jack for whatever reason. I don't really know what that would be used for. I don't use it like that, so... I mean, where I come from, microphones are mostly used for speaking into, and then they record your voice, because that's what a microphone is, but I could be wrong. But yeah, it was, it was a pretty fun time trying to set it up, and now, for some weird reason, it just does not want to work in Audacity properly. Like, if I'm, if I'm recording a game, and I'm trying to record my voice with the Yeti at the same time, it just gets all, like, super duper... I don't know how to explain it. It's like... Really choppy, I guess, is the best word I could use to explain that. It just sounds really, really bad. But if I'm not recording a game, like, if I'm not capturing from the Dazzle or the, the Hop Hog or whatever I'm using to record, it's totally fine. It sounds totally normal, everything's okay, but as soon as I start recording a game, all shit breaks loose, and it just doesn't want to do it, so... I don't know what the deal is there, but it kind of sucks. But I guess I'll play with that around, I'll round with that for a little bit. And it's not the fact that it's just like audacity being stupid, because right now I'm using, I'm using the snowball, which is working absolutely fine with audacity and my capture program at the same time. So I don't, I don't really know. It's pretty fun, though. It's fun times screwing with settings and stuff. Trying to make stuff work. Alright. Well, this is... This is fun. <laughs> I like being lost. Trying to find hidden walls and stuff. This is this is good. I really probably don't even need to fight these guys, to be honest. Oh, but I lose money. Oh well. I really don't need money at this point. Like, I have a lot of money. I have five hundred sixty-three thousand. I think I'm okay. That would probably last till like close to the end of the game. The enemies aren't that strong, though. I mean, like, they're one-hit kills, so... But that's only because I had so much goddamn spare time to sit down and level up instead of record because I had to... to fuck with all the episodes because... uh... it decided to, ret like, record really retarded. Oh my god, I'm so confused. I don't know how you get that treasure chest. If I can't get to it, I don't care. It's probably not worth it. It's probably just gonna be like... A random item. Like a potion. One-time use kind of dealy. Oh, we're over here now. Okay. Neat. But yeah, hopefully this recording goes a little bit better than the last one. Because I really don't want to have to sit down and doctor everything. I probably just won't save until I start rendering these videos out. I'll just leave the game on and kind of hope for the best. And if it if it's okay, then I'll save. But if not, this recording will probably never see the light of day. And I'll just have to redo the recording after I figure out how to fix it. But Hopefully that's not the case and hopefully this does work out alright. I don't know what it is with Final Fantasy and not working on the channel, though. Like, <laughs> fucking... First, it was Final Fantasy 2. Final Fantasy 1 went pretty alright. I don't think there was any real problems with Final Fantasy 2. Or Final Fantasy 1. Pretty sure that that went pretty okay. But... Final Fantasy 2 had that weird thing where my PS3 just didn't like reading it. And at the time, I couldn't record 
with my PS2 or my PS1, so I didn't even know where my PS1 was at the time. Uh, but after I re-downloaded the game, like after I downloaded it for the PS3, it worked fine, which was awesome. And I didn't even have to redo the parts of the game because it still had the old save. It just downloaded it and emulated it off the PS3, I guess, and kept the old save, which is great. That's like best case scenario at that point. But then Final Fantasy 3, I had that stupid thing where I forgot to save every single time, and I got screwed over, like, every boss fight, which was awesome. Other than that, though, Final Fantasy 3 went okay, I think. I don't think there was any real issues other than that. But now Final Fantasy 4, trying to record it differently, which I guess, kind of my fault. I could have downloaded it off the PSN, but... I figured since I have the game, why spend money and re-download the game? So, and that's not going to be the solution to all my problems anyway. I still have to, like, I don't think you can download some of the Final Fantasy. I don't remember which ones, but there was one or two that you can't download, so 